Welcome back to another episode of The Basics Of. This is episode two of this series, so I have now fulfilled my promise to make this series at least two episodes long. I'm starting a new series that will probably end after three episodes, if not two. So don't flame me in the comments. This video should have came out last week, but I was too busy doing other things. I even posted on my community tab, and apparently no one gave a shit because someone actually said, I'm pooping. Thank you for that message, sir. Gladly appreciated. But right before we get into the video, I would like to say that this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow- <laughs> You honestly thought I'm actually sponsored. A Skate 3 channel sponsored this video? Nah. <laughs> but I will gnome you. Got him again, twice in a row. On this episode, we're going to be talking about magic rails. This doesn't look like magic rails. Now that looks like magic rails. All right. Magic rails. One of the only spot battle session places that you can actually go flat or vert. But who the fuck goes vert? It's not 2012 anymore. Also, why is this place called Magic Rails? Yet again, I'm saying this. This thing does not grant you magical powers, and it will not let you do the Photoshop speed glitch. That was a joke last time. Don't believe me. Do you honestly think I'll pull the same joke twice in a row? Man, I hope this is funny. Moving on, let's talk about the starting position. You start off on the corner of this ledge that could kill you if you were playing on normal or hardcore. You could turn around and go off the ledge as if you were in regular, or you can do some skate two type of maneuver where you stutter. No, 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 fucking regular. Get out of here. What? What? Take this game, man. Kick off this ledge. You guys ever heard of five popping? Yeah, me neither, because apparently you can hit that exact same five popping score, but in three tricks. Just be like Vigil. How do you be like Vigil? I don't fucking know. The only thing I do know is that if you don't know how to play bowl maps, you're kind of fucked. Because depending on which way you go, you have to learn how to turn and maintain your speed. Come on, turn, turn, fuck, 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 fuck come on, bro. Makes me want to judo the fucking game. That joke's on you, I don't know how to judo a game. Now let's move on to stances. If you happen to play in regular, you most likely want to go... Holy shit! A 2016 reference! Has it really been that long? Back on topic. If you wanted to be regular, you would go off the ledge and you would go down into the part of the half pipe you would use for vert that people from only 2012 still use. <laughs> but make sure not to go too far up the hill because there's a huge entire dead zone where your points don't count. That's why people don't go backwards immediately at start, because otherwise you would just be getting zero points. But it works in one up though! Yeah, that's one up! When going up the hill, make sure you do the U-turn. And when doing the U-turn, make sure you look both ways so you don't hit that pedestrian that's crossing the- oh, What the fuck did I just say? As you're going down the straight, make sure you don't fuck up. If you were three tricking, you probably wouldn't have to worry about the turn that's at the end. But if you're four popping, why would you four pop? What the fuck? Who still does that? But if you were infinite popping, then make sure to go to the left or the right. Your preference, not mine. As stated before, if you were a goofy player, make sure you know how to play bowls, because sometimes you might hit a turn here, or hit a turn here, or hit the turn there, and then you can do that, and then you can do this. And then all of a sudden you're just falling through the ground. What the fuck? The total timer of this map is 35 seconds. So if you get a score above 35, I'd say you're pretty good. But if you get into the 40s, you're really well. But if you're doing that infinite popping, you might want to get a mid 40. That's around the good area. If you still happen to be really bad at maintaining your speed, you can probably use the boost method that requires you to speed glitch off the ledge. What the fuck? I thought you fell through the ground. The supernatural aside, just speed glitch off the ledge, go up the half pipe, and then just make a turn, and you should just go straight, and don't fuck up, otherwise the ender dragon will come after you. I'm just kidding, there's no ender dragon this time. There's a wither. Ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, don't hit that respawn button just yet. Unlike the previous map, this one also includes the one-up portion. But what's so different about the session versus the one-up map? Thank you, Random Voice, for asking this question. Because everyone that's watching this video must have had that question in the first place. No the fuck, I just saw you on my YouTube recommended it and decided to click on it. I am now leaving a dislike, fuck you. Thanks for the dislike, kind stranger. I will now quit YouTube. A few moments later.
I'm back. Wow, that was a short hiatus. Good thing I came back faster than the other person did. Who's that other person? You know who. Back to the 1UP map. I seriously don't know who the fuck you're talking about. The changes to the 1UP map are very drastic, if you consider spawn point and timing to be drastic changes. The only positive side to this is that you have a bigger runway when going off the ledge. And the only downside is that there's a longer runway before time runs out. Now you gotta go fast, you gotta hurry, you gotta hit that score before Albert makes another Skate 4 video. And ah shit, you fucked up. Albert already made another Skate 4 video.